Hey guys, it's Miss Miller again, and now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drawings and the digital isometric paper that I provided on your Google Classroom to draw an isometric square. Now, only use this if you're unable to print the actual isometric paper and draw it with, you know, your pencil and ruler. And anyway, so on your Google Classroom feed, what you'll do is you'll click on isometric digital drawing paper, and you may want to make a copy of it if it gives you the option to make a copy. That way you can, you know, practice a few times. All right, so I've opened up my copy, and you need to be careful. If you click on the picture and the square comes around the whole outside of your page, do not move anything around. If you do that and you're in the middle of drawing, you're going to move your isometric paper and it's not going to be lined up with your sketch. So you want to make sure that if you click there and the whole thing turns blue, you just kind of click anywhere to the side. All right, so this is pretty simple to use. I've never used this um, Google drawings before. This is my first time to use it. So I'm going to show you what I've figured out and we're going to just go from there. All right, so just like the other paper, this is an exact picture that I just imported into Google Drawings that I'm going to draw on. This tool right here, this is the line tool and that's going to be the main thing that you want to use to draw your cubes. All right, so I'm going to take if I can and zoom in some so that I can see my squares a little bit better while I'm drawing. I'm going to zoom in. I, that's that's good enough. Ooh, that's a little a little more. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> okay, let's go back and not be zoomed in that much. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we'll zoom in this much. I'm going to click on the outside because that blue square was around the edge. And I'm going to start at the bottom of my paper, <laughs> just like I did when I was drawing it by hand on the physical piece of paper. So I'm going to click on my line tool, and I'm going to take my little plus, and I'm going to line it right here at the bottom of my paper where these two triangles come together. So I'm going to click and hold. And I'm going to draw my line over one, two, three, four units. And you can use the plus to make sure that your line is lined up where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change my line width to two. Well, let's see what three looks like. I'm going to change it to three. It makes it a lot darker and a lot easier to see. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my line on the other side. So same thing. I'm going to line up my line tool. One, two, three, four. Try to get it as straight as I can. And release. Okay, and I'm going to do my other line from here up. One, two, three, four. Is that four? No, that's three. One, two, three, four. Okay, and my center line, what, whoa, -oh. if you accidentally do that, you can take the whole line and move it up like that, and then just swing it around and rotate it. If you let go while you're drawing the line, that's what'll happen. All right, I figured that out drawing it the first time. So now I'm going to, oh, I clicked, see that blue line around the edge? I'm going to click in the outside spot and re-click on my line tool and click my line. I did it again. And go up four, one, two, three, four. There we go. And now I'm going to click in, oops, so let's keep that right there. Okay, and now going to do my line again, click and hold, and drag over to there. All right, so let's go ahead and change that because it's not three anymore. Let's click on this one. Oops, delete that. And click on my line again. Go from here to here. 
and let's change that to three as well. And then we're going to click here and go over one, two, three, four. It's a little crooked, so I can always take the end and move it right there. There we go. And then let's click right there and drag that across to there. And there we go. There's our cube. I've drawn it digitally. So if you don't have a printer, you can use this to draw your sketch. And there will be a turn in place for you to submit everything. But that is it. I'm going to go ahead and make this one darker because it wasn't dark enough. There we go. And I believe that is it. Let's see, we can click paint. I wonder how that works. I don't know. But you can play around with it. You can draw um, whatever you want to draw on here. But I do want you to practice drawing some cubes just like I directed in the other video. Um, you can draw little one by one cubes just by clicking and drawing. Okay, it's super quick. And change the color of your lines if you want to. If you don't want just the plain black lines, you can change them to purple. And oops, click back on the line. So if you're clicking and your little drawing cursor turns to a like the four arrows, then like that, that's for you to move that line wherever. And you can just hit delete and then click back on the line drawing button. All right, so that's it for the digital isometric sketches. I hope y'all practice and I'll check in with you guys next week. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.